In Far Eastern University, our team searched for an individual who is highly addicted in playing multiplayer online battle arena. Our life was highly dependent on the technology that we developed. It has advanced for many years and has changed the way we live, the way we communicate, the way we learn, the way we travel, and the way we purchase things. And so many changes have been brought by this continuous technological advancement. So what is MOBA? MOBA, also known as Multiplayer Online Battle Arena, is a subgenre of strategy video games, which originated as a subgenre of real-time strategy. Now, how do players play this game? This is how. Each player can control a specific character to defend their own base and fight against a team of other players. Now, a few examples of MOBA games are Defense of the Ancients, also known as Dota, League of Legends, or LoL, and another famous game in the mobile region, which is Mobile Legends Bang Bang. Who is the creator of Mobile Legends? Moonton is the middle name of Shanghai Moonton Technology, which was founded in 2014 under the leadership of Justin Yuan, the co-CEO of Moonton and the game developer of Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends Bang Bang is a multiplayer online arena battle game, which is designed for mobile teams. There are two teams. Each team have one goal, to find, reach, and destroy the enemy space while defending their own. There are three lanes, the top, the middle, and the bottom. Weaker characters, also called as minions, spawn from the beginning up to the end, fighting you with glory. Each team have five players that controls a specific avatar, also called as heroes. A hero can be classified into six types. Marksman, Mage, Fighter, Assassin, Tank, and so forth. The question is, what is your role in this game? Um, excuse me, do you play Mobile Legends? Uh, yes, I am playing Mobile Legends. Mobile Legends? Uh, oh, oh, yes. Yes. Yes, I play Mobile Legends. Mark Fraser Panganiban is an architecture student in Far Eastern University who is very fond of playing Mobile Legends. Okay, so before we start, I would like to thank you for your time. But if I may ask, what is your in initial reaction when we ask you to have an interview with us? Uh, Siyempre, nagulat ako kasi uh, sabi ng kaibigan ko, nagaanap daw kayo ng addict sa email. Which is, nag ayun, nagpresenta ako kasi totoo naman, addict naman talaga ako sa email. So that, now that you know that the interview will revolve around Mobile Legends, may I ask you what is Mobile Legends for you? Para sa akin, pantanggal stress yan. Pantanggal stress siya kasi syempre, college na. Mas marami ng school works. Ngayon, lagi yung stress. Minsan sa bahay, stress ka pa. Tapos sa biyahe. Pag ginagamit, naglalaro din ako ng ML pang free time para sumaya naman ako para mablang ko yung isip ko, wala akong masyadong iniisip na ibang bagay. Okay. So, where do you usually play? Uh, mas naglalaro ako lagi sa bahay kasi kalaro ko dun yung tita ko, tito ko, ganun. Tsaka, uh, mas komportable maglaro doon kasi siyempre may kama, ganun. Then, sa school, naglalaro din ako pag free time namin, break time, ganun. Or pag wala pa ang teacher, kami ng mga tropa ko. Do you have any personal reasons with regards to why you play the game? Uh, so, yun nga, pang tanggal stress nga kasi lagi na akong may stress lalo na uh, ngayon kasi finals na and marami na masyadong activities na pinapagawa so inuuna ko talaga, minsan inuuna ko talaga yung paglalaro para maglang ko yung isip ko, makapag-isip ako ng maayos When do you usually play? Kapag free time, free time ko sa uh, after ng mga gawain sa bahay or misa uh, sa biyahe kasi matagal yung biyahe ko so naglalaro ko ng ganun. Tapos pag break time namin sa school. Okay, so one of the factors that makes the players addicted to on playing the game is the concept of escapism, when they want to escape from all the stress they have or they get from schoolworks or from 
even from home. So that's a way to somehow distress themselves through playing. They can somehow make a way or outlet or create an outlet para matakasan nila in a way again yung pagkakaroon ng stress or pagkakaroon ng struggles sa different aspects ng life, ng life nila like again school and home So how did it affect you after playing regardless if you won the game or you lost the game? Actually uh, this month uh, hindi naman recently kakadelete ko lang ng email ko kasi this month uh, nagka problema ako sa ganyan sa time sa pag-manage ko ng time sa girlfriend ko sa bahay sa mga gawain bahay sa school works so ayun kaya parang dinelete ko muna siya para mapag-isip ako ng maayos and para ma-manage ko yung time ng maayos so actually Mobile Legends was released last 2016 have you been playing the game since it was released or Ay, hindi naman mga isang taon pala ako naglalaro kasi actually hindi nga dapat ako papasakop ng parang kaadikan sa email kasi parang ayoko ng mga ganun laro eh kasi para sa akin mga racing games eh, mga gusto kong laro kaso yung kapatid ko since naglalaro na siya ng ML nauna siya sa akin so parang naintriga ako syempre boring di sa bahay and then ayun tinry ko ML and then natuwa nga naman ako kasi nakakalaro ko sila were there any impacts that you have discovered after playing the game? Uh, para sa akin, mga negative impacts yun. Kasi, nagkatap na totoo akong mag-cram eh. Parang, nuna ko lagi yung laro bago, bago ibang bagay. And then, minsan, pag sabay-sabay kami kumakain, nakakapag, naglalaro pa ako habang kumakain na sila. De, parang in-game pa ako ganun. Kasi hindi naman natin alam yung kung gaano katagal yung oras sa uh, laro. Ayun. Uh, when it comes to social naman, of course, we all know naman not necessarily from playing games but for from using your phones or through technology na lang in general. Social uh, interactions or being affected or, or being lessened. You're, you're time with other people personally are being lessened kasi nga you're spending uh, much of your time or maybe most of your time on your phone so that can also reflect on your reaction i mean relationship with other people it is inevitable that from time to time we will make use of technology to communicate to learn and even to entertain ourselves however we cannot deny the fact that too much use of something will lead to numerous consequences the case of Mobile Legends serve as proof with regards to such the effects of technology could bring us once we become responsible for it. This is a wake-up call for us modern individuals. It is in our hands whether technology could be used to our advantage or to our drawback. Now that we have gained initial background to the potential influence of technology to us, the questions are, are we going to be responsible enough to make good use of such advancements for our own advantage? Are we going to let ourselves be the victims of our own actions? My name is Ted Christian Biroquero. And I am Tristan Fulhentro. I am Angelo Ke. And I am Ron Saldan. And this is Now You See Us, Now You Know.